Hi, this is the wine cellar. I hope it comes out okay. Okay, up here, I'm going to start. We have height. That's the Martha's. That. Those are all the. Here's the Ruby, Ruby Cabernet, which, again, very nice level. Nothing wrong with the cork. And here I am, Janice. <laughs> oh, so silly. Okay. And so that's all the heights up there. Here we go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Robert Mondave. Very nice levels there too. From what I can well, a little lower than the height, but still very good. I don't know if you can read that or not, but those are all Robert Mondave up there. And then we got, I believe, the Freemark Abbey. Yes, Freemark Abbey, the Bosch. Right here. I'll grab another one. And the Cabernet Bosch. Well, same thing, right? Let's see. Yeah. Two bottles. Look at the levels. Very nice. Trying the best I can. I'm an amateur. <laughs> They, no, this is a Saab, Sovereign Cabernet Saab on the Fremark Abbey. Very nice levels, again. Can you see that? Uh, trying to get it in there. Very good. See it? Okay. Now, Trentadon. There's four bottles. A couple labels are kind of coming off, which is no big deal. This is going to be glued back on. Again, we got some good levels here, but some sediment there. I can see in the back a little bit. This is the Trentadon Cabernet. What year is that? 1970. I have misplaced my bifocals here at Joni's house. So upset right now. And here's that wine opener I was talking about. Okay, here's the eagle nook, which is very important. Wine. We have this is the little bottle Pinot Noir right here, which we can see the levels are quite low on that, so that. The cab is in very good shape. Look at the cork. Beautiful. Everything is beautiful. Chateau. Guem. I'm not very good saying that, but we know this is a very good level there. As you can see, the cork is wonderful. I would say it's a good bottle of wine. These are the Dry Creek. There's one Dry Creek. And I think this is the Baron Pitchin right here. Oh, sorry. Okay. This is the Dry Creek, which. Good levels. Nice cork. 1970. That's a good bottle of wine. I'll take it if somebody else doesn't want it. Here's the Baron Pitchin. Nice levels. That's that little bottle. I think it's a four-fifth quart. Ooh. No, the levels are a little... I don't know why. You would think the smaller bottle would be less, but it's actually in better shape. So, I'm going to stop this for me. Okay, now the courtier. Like 
the levels are a little low on that. That is the 1964, I believe, the gloss. So those are a little low, but... 1964, what do you expect? Now here we got the 1982 Guadalupe Rose, which is wonderful. Very high, nice level, perfect shape, label, and that's five bottles of that right here. Gosh. Now, the top looks very good for a 19, bottle of 1966. This is the level. Getting down there. But this is DRC Latage. There's no little sediment up here. Um, I don't know a lot about the cork, but I think it looks pretty good. And we're just going to be gentle, and you can see the Bordeaux. <laughs> okay, now we're going down to the Bureau State BV. I believe the it is the uh, Private Reserve George Latour that is the interesting bottle here, the 1966. And I'd say the levels look quite well, as you can see. Cork looks very nice. Um, and then the 1969, which the Pinot Noir. I think it looks good. Pinot Noir. From what I understand, can't be last, can last that long. Oh, the Lafitte Rothschild. Okay, I need to hold my camera right. Here. <laughs> and this is the little four fifth bottle. Look at the level. Beautiful. Beautiful. All these levels are great on here. People keep saying things to me like, oh, these aren't any good. Really? They sure look good to me. Oh, I'm tired of hearing that. Okay, now the Sterling Cabernet, which, again, wonderful levels. The cork is in excellent shape, and I believe what year is 1969. Look at that. Uh... I'll tell you what, if people want to call that junk wine, then they can give it to me, because I'll drink it. And here's the Chardonnay, which, yes, I would wonder about. But, I did hold it up completely, and it still looks good. I, I don't know if that's possible or not, but... It would be worth opening it up and finding out. And there's two bottles of the Chardonnay and two of the Cabernet of the Sterling. Okay, now we're going to California Zen, which, again, I'm not sure about these because they are Zen, but they look good. The cork's got some seepage there, though, on that one, so probably not. Let's see. This one don't look so bad. Those are iffy. We won't spend time on those. We got the Where's Porto wine. Oh, port, from what I understand, can last a very long time. And this is uh, 1977. Looks excellent condition. The levels, oh, I can't see. I'm not seeing a level here. Uh, can we see the levels? They're good. You just can't see. The bottles are dark. Um, I'll have to look at that when you come. Okay, now we have the mini little Louis Martini. These are the little four fifths. 1969. Very nice levels. There's absolutely no seepage. The levels are very, quite high for 1969. And there's 10 bottles of these. Nice little collection there. 
the Moroso, probably not. I, I'm guessing that's no good. The Shannon Blank. So we won't worry about that. Um, and then we got the Louis Martini Cabernet Sauvs in the 70s. A 1970. They're both 1970. And both the levels are good. A little sediment back there. And that bottle. The corks look good. Um, maybe a little seepage on that one. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe that's just the cork. I've never seen that before. Anyway, again, I drink them. <laughs> okay, we got the Sonoma Vineyards. I believe there is three bottles of this. Nineteen. Uh, seventy-four is it? Yeah. Look at the levels on that. Very nice cab. Hmm. But Newton Baron Phillip, which unfortunately it's not Mutant Rothschild, but this is the Baron Phillip, and they don't look so good. This one is pretty low. Definitely no good. And I'd say neither one are really all that good. So, okay. Now we're at the Hot Brion, which in the 1967 looks better than the 1970 for some reason. This is 1967. Yep, the levels look better. Um, there's no seepage in the corks at all. These are both 750s. For some reason, I thought there was a magnum of one of these. I must have got it mixed up with the uh, Lafayette Rat Tub. But I don't see any sediment problems or anything. But apparently, according to all the experts, those bottles could be iffy too. But. Calve. Which of course we got the um oh what is this? Yeah, nineteen sixty nine. Which one is this? I can't remember because it and I can't find my glasses, but the levels look pretty good. The cork is in good shape. This is nineteen sixty six Bellevue. Cab. The levels look very nice. Oh, I'm going to put those back up. So we got Bancy. Um, nice levels. A little low on the little Barton. As you can see. Not really any seepage or anything. Same with the Bancy. A little good levels. The Colin Segura, that's a Good wine. And then this is the Ganey Chardonnay, which I don't see what's so wrong with this. The levels look good. I don't see any sediment. This is 1995. Why wouldn't it be good? I don't know what Ganey is, but I don't think it would be too bad for Mr. Rosen when I bought it. Okay, got a couple cool uh, champagne buckets here, if you're interested. And then again, the wine thing there. Here's that barrel I was talking about. Oh, it's Jack Daniels, maybe, I think. It's pretty cool. I want it. <laughs> oh, this fell off. It is. Jack Daniels number seven. And maybe she'll give it to me. <laughs>